What's up, guys? So it is. It is morning. Uh, just woke up 15 minutes ago. Uh, 7:30 right now. We're gonna go home. I mean, we're gonna go downstairs. Um, eight eggs. We got some sausage yesterday, so we're gonna put some sausage in there. Uh, four cups of milk. So we got our eight eggs with sausage. And then this bread right here, we're about to put some peanut butter on there. And then we got ourselves four cups of milk. This is breakfast done. Right. So we're gonna gobble this up and then write down our schedule for today just to stay productive. Huh? Meal one. Is done. I see you didn't clean um, this this last night. Why you say that? Because yesterday I made sausage and you did it clean. You sure, bro? Yep, I'm sure. Or was it the butter from this morning? No, it wasn't. You ain't tripping. Am I allowed to record you or? No. My mom's tripping. She won't let me record her for some weird reason. Chris. <laughs> now I'm gonna sit here to my next meal, just working on uh, my programming. So I'm gonna finish two weeks of my program that I'm making, and then I'm gonna finish my meal plan. I've already finished the meal plan. I just need to make tweaks here and there, uh, just to refine it. <coughs> um, and I'll keep and I'll work on that until. Or when I'm done with that, uh, I'll be on my next meal. So, uh, yeah. It is 10 o'clock, about an hour and a half after my first meal. So what we got here, the best protein on the market. Taste-wise, and what's in it too. So we're going to do two scoops. And this is actually the scooper that I have. I was just too lazy to look for the scoop inside the um, inside the actual bucket, so I just found a big, big scooper. It's probably like two times the size of the real scoop that's in there. But we're gonna do two of these, which is probably like two and a half servings, maybe three. This is like 50 grams of protein. So this is gonna be meal number two. We're gonna eat this or drink this with um, two cups of milk and then a tablespoon of peanut butter. And that's gonna be meal number two. have it all so it is 12 o'clock I think it just turned 12 o'clock or it's probably like 12 one or something I'm probably like, what the hell is wrong with this guy? 
Gotta get them games. Bone. Yum. I need a bigger pot. Because this is like the hardest part about cooking. It's trying to keep it all inside here without falling out. Mm. It's about almost two and a half pounds of this straight pasta. So this is my next meal. I'm gonna go ahead and eat this inside the pot right now. And one minute. Go ahead. And that's about three grams. It's not right there. And that's a meal. About half a pound of meat, half a pound of. I mean, Boom. Isn't that delicious? So we got our food. And we're coming upstairs to watch some YouTube because that's what I do while I eat. I watch TEDx Talks, David Dobrik, Liza Koshy, and that's it. Dude, David Dobrik and Liza Koshy is like the best YouTubers in the world. Are they fresh? Fresh, never frozen? <laughs> Look at her face. <laughs> Penelope, I want some. I want some. Can I have some? Thank you, Mama. What's up, homies? How y'all doing today? So, as I said before, today is gonna be a heavy bench day. One of my mo one of my favorite days, um, like lifting wise, because it's so fun. The only thing is just my stupid forearm. So, right here, all I'm doing is just warming up, uh, trying to get the blood flowing through. Um, Another thing that I'm doing besides what you see here is a bunch of sidearm uh, raises and tricep push outs, I guess that's what you would call it, with, uh, so with some dumbbells. I don't really do any rotator cuff activation things. A lot of people do that, but I notice when I do that, it actually irritates my rotator cuff, so I actually stay away from that. But right here, uh, just doing 315, still warming up. Spotters, when you are spotting people on bench, always use two hands. Don't use the one hand thing in the middle. Um, it's just a lot more stable when you use the two hands. And then my next warm up with 365. This one was really easy. I had to get a spotter to push it out just because my forearm was messing up so bad. And then this is my last warm up with 405. It actually moved really, really fast. So I knew today was going to be pretty good. But I'm going to get off of this so y'all can see my top set with music and the environment. <laughs> So let's, or well right here I'm just doing a 225 pound curl. I tried to, but <laughs> I, I couldn't do it. Um, but let's talk about that lift. The My top set of 455 for an attempt at four, but I ended up only getting three. As you, uh, I've never done this before, or if I have, not to this extent, but you, you can see while I'm 
benching that 455, it is bouncing on my chest. So I did not mean to do that. Um, I'm after this. That's why I'm doing a bunch of lockout work. First of all, for my last rep that I couldn't lock out. So I usually do pin presses, pin presses like starting on my chest, but instead I raise them so I could work on the lockout. This right here is 495. I tried to get two reps, but with the bouncing thing, I started doing, or on this workout, I did some spoto presses, which I think is the next workout after these pin presses, um, so I can learn to slow down the bar weight, I mean the bar speed, like on the way to my chest because I think that that's why it was bouncing because it's hitting my chest so fast that I'm not really able to stop it um which you know that's that's pretty easy to fix so that's that's the reason why I'm doing spoto presses right here hopefully that really helped with it um hopefully it did but because I'm pretty sure I would have got that last rep if I wasn't bouncing because it put me out of position. I'm pretty sure each rep that it was bouncing on, uh, my lower back was untightening. I was probably losing air. Um, maybe my feet were wiggling or some other shit. I don't know, but I'm going to make sure that that doesn't happen again. So this is my top set of Spoto presses. I think it's 365. Um, I started off with doing them pause, but and then I just went. I guess you can call them touch and go. But I tried to stay one to two inches uh, above my chest. And then right here, just some rolling dumbbells. Like I said, and the other vlogs, I got these from Ryan Canelli. I really, 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 really like these. And I'm starting to get pretty strong in them. The first time I did them... I think I went up to 70 pounds and could barely do them for six, and now I'm doing um, 60 pounds for sets of eight or eight to ten. So this, so right here, this is a heavy bench day. So five days or four days from this day, I'm going to be doing speed bench, which is actually tomorrow from where I'm recording this, and I'll actually do like 80 pounds. On rolling dumbbells for hopefully a set of eight uh, maybe like a top set of eight but thank you all for watching um, I really appreciate it and this voiceover is done so I'll see y'all later <laughs>
It's good. And we done, motherfucker. <coughs> Two and a half pounds of pasta. Down like not a damn thing. And honestly, I'm still hungry. I don't know if it's because it was a heavy day, but I'm definitely gonna have to have another meal. So I'll probably wait like an hour. And then something small, just like maybe six eggs or something like that. I don't know. Maybe even a, another just shake. But I'll see you then. Thank you guys for watching. Um, really appreciate it. Comment down anything y'all want me to cover. Uh, any advice that y'all have. Um, just anything. Uh, like the video. Dislike it if you didn't like it. And if you do dislike it, tell me why. Um, and yeah. Hope you liked today's video. And I'll see you later.